Hello everyone, welcome to Sangam Tutorials, SP Gubi Online Classes for NCRT and CBSE 10th Standard for Mathematics and Science. So in the previous session we had solved riders and numericals on the areas of similar triangles. So in this session uh, we will be going with the Pythagoras theorem which is very very important, very famous theorem uh, based on a right angle triangle. So, at the end of this session, you will be a master in proving the Pythagoras theorem on the basis of similar triangles. Right, anyway. So, before entering into the theorem, just I want to give you a brief introduction how this theorem came, how this theorem was introduced by Pythagoras. So, where this particular uh, uh, property of this right angle triangle was originated, right? So, in, in geometry, the geometry of ancient India originated with the constructions of construction of altras or they may be called as homakundas. So, which were used to perform homas in temples and at homes. So, these homakundas, during the construction of these homakundas, a precise measurement was very much required. So, in that olden times, we do not have any tape for the measurement or any scale for the measurement. So therefore, in place of scale and uh, tapes or any measurement tools, they were using ropes which were called as sulabas. They were called as sulabas, right? So here, uh, by using for the precise measurement for the construction of homakundas for building temples, I hope you have seen when you go, go, go to some ancient temples, very old temples, when you look at the top of the temple, you can see the constructions which are exactly, they look like right angle triangles. So these Sulabha Sutras, uh, a series of Sulabha Sutras were given around approximately some 500 to 800 uh, BC. So these Sulabha Sutras were call, also called as Baudhayana Sulabha Sutra. So regarding uh, the right angle triangle, there are certain Baudhayana Sulabha Sutras which are mentioned uh, by our Vedic seers. So Baudhayana Sulabha Sutra is about uh, a right angled triangle. So, I will mention the uh, Bodhayana Sulabha Sutra which is regarding the right angled triangle, right? So now, the diagonal of a rectangle, the diagonal of a rectangle produces both areas in which the length and breadth produce separately. So, it's a very simple thing. So, we can, you can imagine a rectangle here. So, this is the rectangle, let us take it as uh, A, B, C, D be the rectangle. So, let us take one of its diagonal. I will take B, C as the diagonal here. So, we know that uh, in a rectangle all the four angles are equal to 90 degrees. I won't mention here, it is understood. All the four angles are equal to 90 degrees, right. So, in this rectangle, the diagonal of the rectangle produces both areas in, in a sense the diagonal has an area upon it which includes the areas of two other things, two other areas including in the same area. That is, if you build a square on this, if you build a square on this diagonal, that is BC, if you, BD, BD is the diagonal here. So, if you build a square on the rectangle, uh, that is the diagonal of the rectangle ABCD, that is BD, if you build a square on this, this square has two areas inside it. It has, it is the sum of two areas, two areas where one of the area which is inside this is produced by the length of this, produced by the length of the rectangle and another area is built by the breadth of the rectangle. So this is the meaning of that. So this is area 1, this is area 2. So, one area 1 plus area 2 will be this area 3, that is this area. So, that is the meaning of the statement which is given in uh, Bodhayana Sulabha Sutra, uh, that is the diagonal, this is the diagonal, diagonal of a rectangle, diagonal of a rectangle produces, it produces, on it, it produces both areas, in the sense, this area plus this area, the sum of these two areas is produced by the area which is on the diagonal, that is the diagonal of the rectangle. So, this area, this area has two areas inside it. 
so where one of the area is produced by the length of this rectangle and the another area is produced by the breadth of this rectangle so sum of these two areas will be equal to the area which is produced on the diagonal of the rectangle so that is the given in uh, illustrated in both the syllabus sutra around some uh, 500 in between 500 and 800 bc right so the same uh, on the same lines the theorem was uh, presented by uh, other two mathematicians apastamba and katyayana these are the two great uh, uh, mathematicians at that particular time and bhaskaracharya one gave a dissection proof for this property that is property of this right angle triangle uh, by gave a dissection proof which is uh, using similar triangles dissection proof means we can uh, uh, take a sheet of paper here we can another uh, sheet of paper here another sheet of paper here by doing some dissections we can prove that area 1 plus area 2 is equal to area 3 so what Bhaskaracharya did it by using the concept of similar triangles at that time so the what the concept was given by Bhaskaracharya was given by Pythagoras using the formal definitions of geometry which was originated which is non-Euclidean geometry so non using non-Euclidean geometry Pythagoras uh, gave the formal uh, uh, that is uh, produced that is he proved the Pythagoras he proved the same uh, both Diana Silva Sutra on the basis of similar triangles by using formal definitions of geometry so in today's class we are going to learn how the Pythagoras theorem is uh, proved so this is very important for your examination for four marks compulsory you are going to get it in your examination so most probably probability of getting the theorem in the examination is the Pythagoras theorem which is very very easy if you are good in AA criterion which we are discussed in the previous class and if you are good in identifying the uh, sides opposite to corresponding angles in similar triangles you are the Pythagoras theorem is yours 100% you are going to get a, a grip on this so let us get into uh, Pythagoras theorem so the same Bodha that is Bhaskaracharya 1 what he had given the dissection proof of uh, the uh, Bodha and Sulava Sutra by using similar triangles so it was formally given by Pythagoras and it is stated as in a right angle triangle the square on the hypotenuse the square on the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares on the other two sides just I will go with that so now using this rectangle itself I can do this so we will wipe out these two sides we will take out these two sides of the rectangle so here we have a right angle triangle so this is the right angle so DBC is the right angle triangle and the side opposite to the right angle is called as the hypotenuse this is the hypotenuse so this is the longest side of the triangle right angle triangle when compared to this when you compare this and this this is the uh, longest side when you compare this and this it is the longest side so therefore it is the longest side of the entire triangle so these two sides are the uh, sides containing the right angle so in a right angled triangle the square the square on the hypotenuse square on the hypotenuse is equal to that is the area of the square which is built on the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares this is also a square this is also a square when we take the sum of these two squares which are built on the other two sides of the triangle that is the square built on the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares that is this area plus this area that is area of this square plus area of this square is equal to area of the square on the hypotenuse so this is the exact meaning of the Pythagoras theorem so the square on the in a right angle triangle the square on the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares this is sum of the squares on the other two sides so for example let us go, go with the numerical for example I have built a right angle triangle whose hypotenuse is uh, 5 centimeters and uh, the uh, right angle containing sides are uh, 4 centimeters and 3 centimeters for example if BD is equal to 5 centimeters then 
if you build a square on BD, then all the sides will be equal to 5 centimeters because it's a square. So now, when we take the area of this square, so a formula to find the area of a square is side into side. So therefore, 5 into 5, that is 25 square centimeters. So this is the area, area of the square on the hypotenuse is 25 square centimeters. Now, let us take the area on the, on the area of the square which is built on the other side, that is DC. So this side is 4 centimeter, this side will also be 4 centimeter because in a square all the four sides are equal. So therefore, 4 into 4 is, it is 16 square centimeters and we have built a square on the other side, that is the third side of the right angle triangle. So if this is 3 centimeters, then this will also be 3 centimeters. So therefore, uh, BC into 3 centimeters, that is 3 into 3, that comes to 9 square centimeters. So the area of the square on the other two sides is 16 plus 9, that is 16 and 9. So when we add 16 plus 9, we are going to get 25, that is... So if this is BD, this will also be BD. If this is DC, this will also be DC. If this is BC, this will also be BC. So therefore, uh, BD into BD is BD square is equal to DC into DC is DC square plus this is BC into BC that is BC square. So when we go with numericals, 5 square is equal to because one side BD is 5 and DC is 4 that is 4 square plus BC is 3 again so it is 3 square so 25 is equal to 16 plus 9 so 25 is equal to RHS right so this is how we go with the Pythagoras theorem that is numerically just have, for an example I have done this so here the three values 5 4 and 3 they satisfy the Pythagoras theorem so it's a combination of three natural numbers, a beautiful combination of three natural numbers which satisfy the Pythagoras theorem is are called as Pythagorean triplets. They are called as Pythagorean triplets. So here uh, in the ancient India, so around, two, around 2000 BC uh, in a, uh, a particular uh, mathematician called uh, Taitareya Samhita, it's, it's a uh, something like Sulava Sutra, it was written by our uh, Vedic sayers. So, in that it is mentioned regarding the Pythagorean triplets. So, here 5, 4 and uh, 3, they form the Pythagorean triplets because they satisfy Pythagoras theorem. All three natural numbers or any three natural numbers cannot satisfy Pythagoras theorem. Those three natural numbers whose combination is going to satisfy the Pythagoras theorem like this, that is that is 5 square is equal to 4 square plus 3 square. So here 5, 4 and 3 are called as Pythagorean triplets. So it is mentioned in Taitariya Samhita which was uh, uh, given in around some 2000 BC something. Right. So this is regarding Pythagoras theorem. So in this class in the uh, we are going to prove the Pythagoras theorem on the basis of similar triangles. Pythagoras theorem can be proved in many ways but in your syllabus it is on the basis of similar triangles, it's very very easy, it's dead easy. In tomorrow's session, I will be going with the converse of Pythagoras theorem, which is where you are going to enjoy it a lot. Right? So now let us get into the statement. So before getting to the logical proof, we will remember we will remember once again in a right angle triangle, the square on the hypotenuse is equal to sum of these two squares on the other two sides. So for the right angle triangle, if this side becomes the hypotenuse, these two sides becomes the other two sides and also they are called as the sides containing the right angle. So once again, in a right angle triangle, the square on the hypotenuse is equal to, that is area of the square on the hypotenuse is equal to sum of these two squares on the other two sides. So on this side you have built a square, on this side you have built a square. So this square plus this square is equal to the square which is built on the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle. So, we are going to prove this logically on the basis of similar triangles. So, let us get into the statement. Right. 
in a right angle triangle in a right angle triangle the square on the hypotenuse the square on hypotenuse is equal to sum of the square on hypotenuse is equal to sum of squares on other two sides. So this may be asked in your examination state and prove Pythagoras theorem or they may give you the statement and they may it will be asked to prove it. So if it is usually well, in the examination, they are going to ask like this, state and prove Pythagoras theorem. So therefore, you have to write the statement by yourself, do everything, including the proof and get 4 marks. Or they may give the statement and ask to prove. So both are one and the same. Okay. So let us get into the theorem. Very important. Be, be very <coughs> concentrate on this. Be a good listener, look at the diagram, diagram plays everything, it's the heart of the entire uh, theorem. So if you are good in looking at the diagram, you are a master of Pythagoras theorem, right? So in a right angle triangle, the square on hypotenuse is equal to sum of squares on other two sides. So this is the hypothesis in a right angle triangle. If I read that in my mind, I get a right angle triangle. So I'm going with that. So let us get into the uh, diagram. Very, very important. Right. So, let us draw a right angle triangle here. So, this is the right angle triangle. Let us take it as uh, A, B and C. Where angle B is 90 degrees. So, in triangle ABC, angle B is 90 degrees. Therefore, triangle ABC becomes a right angle triangle. Right. So, in a right angle triangle, the square on hypotenuse is equal to sum of squares on other two sides. So let us write the description of the diagram that is data. We we'll write it. So data. Right. So in triangle ABC, in triangle ABC, angle B is equal to 90 degrees. And let us mention the hypotenuse. AC is the hypotenuse. is the hypotenuse okay so let us see what is to be proved so to prove that to prove that so ac square that is uh, the square on the hypotenuse you get a square on the hypotenuse here so that becomes ac into ac that is we have to prove that ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square so ab square plus bc square so this is to be proved so as the data is insufficient to prove this, we will be going with a small construction here. So construction, so very simple, draw, as we are proving this theorem on the basis of similar triangles, we need a similar triangle as like triangle ABC. So draw AD perpendicular to BC, sorry, BD, draw BD perpendicular to AC. So this is uh, BD, so it is perpendicular to AC. So draw uh, BD perpendicular to AC, right. So this is data to prove that and construction, right. So now we will get into the two. Very, very important, very, very important. Concentrate on this, listen very carefully, look at the diagram, be with the teacher, right. So now, in order to prove that AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square, that is the square on the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares on other two sides, we have drawn BD perpendicular to AC by converting the one right angle triangle into two right angle triangles. So here there are three right angle triangles actually. So one is triangle ABC which is the original triangle. Another is triangle ABD which is another right angle triangle 
and another triangle is triangle BDC which is another right angle triangle. So we have three right angle triangles original and other two right angle triangles where we have got due to construction. Right. So now we will get into the proof. So out of these three right angle triangles now I am going to select two right angle triangles where one will be compulsory the original triangle and the newly formed triangle. Right. So one is triangle ABC which is the original triangle and another triangle is triangle ADB that is to the left side of me this triangle. I am going to select the big triangle and the triangle which is left to me for the first time. For in the second time I am going to take triangle ABC and triangle BDC and continue with the proof. Right. So in triangle ABC and triangle BDA or ADB once again in triangle ABC and triangle ADB. So in triangle ABC and triangle okay, ADB. In triangle ABC and triangle ADB. Now we will prove that they are similar. We will prove that triangle ABC and triangle ADB are similar. So if you want to prove any two triangles to be similar, we have three criterions. A criterion, SAS criterion and SSS criterion. So out of these three criterions, these two cannot be done because regarding corresponding sides, proportionality nothing is given. So therefore these two are not possible. So only remaining is AA criterion. So using AA criterion, we are going to prove these two triangles to be similar by proving that they are their two pairs of corresponding angles are equal. Once we prove that their two pairs of corresponding angles are equal, they become equiangular and if two triangles are equiangular, then they are similar. Right? So in that manner we will go here. So, angle ABC is equal to angle ADB. Right? So it is both are 90 degrees. So in triangle ABC, I am going to take angle ABC and in triangle ABD, I am going to take angle ADB because it is 90, here it is 90. Okay, so angle ABC is equal to angle ADB. So it is 90 degrees. So one angle 90 degrees is from data. Another angle 90 degrees is from construction. So therefore we will write two reasons. So one is from data and construction. Very important. Data and construction. Right. So now another very simple logic is if one triangle is inside another triangle, then those two triangles will have, usually usually will have, not 100% always, usually they have one angle in common. So let us identify that. So here, angle BAC, this angle is equal to angle BAD in this triangle. So angle BAC is equal to angle BAD. Angle BAC is equal to angle BAD. So it is common angle. So you know this already you have done lot of riders, lot of problems on this. You know A criterion. So in these two triangles, two pairs of corresponding angles have become equal. So therefore they are equiangular. So two triangles have become equiangular. So according to A criterion, if two triangles are equiangular, then they are similar. So therefore triangle ABC is similar to triangle ADB. So this is according to AA criterion. Very simple. Now, if two triangles are similar, then we have the rights to speak about their corresponding sides proportionality. So we will take the proportionality of the corresponding sides. So very important, very important step usually most of the students feel very difficult at this point. They get confused at this point. No need of confusion. Just follow me. You will get all the things. Now, in triangle ABC, one of the angle is 90 degrees. Another angle is common angle. Then this angle is third angle. So mark a dot. Put a dot for the third angle. Just for the identification. Now, in triangle ABD, if you take, this becomes 90 degrees. This is common angle. And this angle is, this angle is for triangle ABD, this angle is the third angle. Now, 
keeping these angles in our mind let us identify the corresponding sides right let us start with 90 degrees so in triangle abc opposite to 90 is ac and in triangle abd opposite to 90 is ab so therefore ac by ab ac by ab very simple is equal to now in the second uh, chance we will go with the common angle so in triangle abc this is the common angle common angle opposite side is bc and common angle opposite side in triangle abd is bd very simple very very you have to be very careful here so opposite to common angle in triangle abc is bc so you can see bc opposite to the common angle in triangle abd is bd it stops here itself because this is the triangle so it is bc by bd so it is bc by bd is equal to now let us identify the third angle the sides opposite to third angle first go with the bigger triangle in triangle abc this is the third angle opposite to this is ab and in triangle abd this is the third angle opposite to that is ad so therefore ab by ad ab by ad so is it right the reason corresponding sides are proportional corresponding sides are proportional law what is to be done next very simple you have done the work your work is complete you have done a beautiful work very simple select two ratios in which a side a particular side repeats itself very simple ab ac by ab here ab by ad here ab ab repeats so therefore ignore this don't take this ratio only consider these two ratios and cross multiply them so therefore ac by ab is equal to ab by ad so what is ab into ab it is ab square is equal to ac into ad ac into ad take it as equation 1 50% of the theorem is over this is such a simple thing now you can prove the other half of the theorem by yourself very simple sir what is to be done very simple take out this ignore this wipe out these angles wipe out no problem wipe out these angles start from the beginning now take triangle abc and now take the triangle which is on the right side that is triangle bdc in triangle abc and triangle bdc so both are right angle triangles one is the original triangle another is the right angle triangle towards your right side okay in triangle abc and triangle bdc prove that they are similar by using this criteria write their corresponding sides select any or the two ratios which are having the same particular side cross multiply go with equation 2 that's all that is the second 50% that is 49% last 1% is conclusion okay in triangle abc and triangle bdc in triangle abc and triangle bdc very simple now let us take the 90s angle abc is equal to angle bdc both are 90 degrees so angle abc is equal to angle bdc 90 degrees so this angle we have got through data that is angle abc is data that is angle b is 90 degrees we have got it from data and angle bdc bdc is by construction so therefore you have to write data and construction both right so second angle we know we have to take the common angle here so therefore angle bca this angle is equal to angle bcd that's all because this is the triangle so angle bca is equal to angle bcd so we write it so angle bca is equal to angle bcd okay so this is common angle very simple right so in both the triangles 
two pairs of corresponding angles have become equal. So according to a criterion, two triangles are equiangular. Therefore, they should be similar. So write the similarity. Therefore, triangle ABC is similar to triangle BDC. So this is according to AA criterion. Right. So now is the very important job of identifying the corresponding sides. So for that, mark the third angle and proceed. So third angle in triangle ABC, one angle is 90, another is common. This is the third angle. In triangle BDC, this is 90, this is common and this becomes the third angle. Very simple. So, let us write the corresponding sides. Now, let us go with first opposite to 90s. So, in triangle ABC, 90 opposite side is AC. In triangle BDC, 90 opposite side is BC. Therefore, AC by BC. Therefore, AC by BC is equal to. Let us go with the opposites of common angle. So, in triangle ABC, is the common angle opposite to this is AB and in triangle BDC is the common angle opposite to that is BD that is AB by BD very simple AB by BD is equal to okay let us go with the third angle now in triangle ABC this is the third angle opposite to third angle is BC and in triangle BDC Opposite to third angle is DC, therefore it is BC by DC. So it is BC by DC. So reason is corresponding sides are proportional. Corresponding sides are proportional. So now you have to look at the pairs of corresponding sides where a particular side repeats. So it is AC by BC, BC by DC. So therefore, ignore this, continue with this. So therefore, AC by BC is equal to BC by BC. BC into BC is BC square is equal to AC into DC, take it as equation 2. So, 99% of the theorem is over. Just 1% is remaining, that is conclusion. Add equations 1 and 2. Let us add equations 1 and 2. So add equations 1 and 2. So LHS will be added with LHS, RHS will be added with RHS in both the equations. So let us add this AB square plus BC square. AB square plus BC square is equal to AC into AD. AC into AD plus AC into DC. AC into DC. Very nice. So AB square plus BC square is equal to. We have AC here. We have AC here. It's a binomial. We can take AC as common. So if you take AC as common, you are left over with AD plus DC. AD plus DC. So now AB square plus BC square is equal to AC into, from the figure, look at the figure, look at the figure, what is AD plus DC? AD plus DC is AC, the sum of AD plus DC is AC, so we can write AD plus DC as AC, so AC into AC is AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. So this is the famous Pythagoras theorem. So this is how it is logically proved. I hope you enjoyed the entire theorem. So very simple, identify the third angles, don't miss it, don't buy hard this. I have seen students without diagram they prove Pythagoras theorem. I don't know how, still I am doing some research on that. I don't know how they prove it. Maybe they, they will be having the diagram in their mind itself. That's over, right? So, please draw the diagram. Follow the procedure what I have taught you 100%.
there will be no errors at all, no silly mistakes, nothing. Directly you are going to get 4 marks for this. Practice these problems, sorry, practice this theorem by changing the names of the vertices. Change the names of the vertices, practice the theorem, right? So, I hope you enjoyed this. Stay home, stay safe and keep learning. Thank you.